everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is. All of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi, everyone. It's Jamie Zebra 23 Chat. This is my second tarot card channel for those of you that know me from Jamie Zebra 23. So this is going to be, what are they, what's the next move? So this is for the collective, it's for all zodiac signs. What's the next move? So this could be in regard to a past person, a current person, or somebody that's coming in the month of August, 2020. So I'm gonna use three different decks. I'm using the Kipper deck, the archetype cards, well, no, four decks. The um, the Love Angels from Dorian Virtue, and then uh, my uh, regular tarot cards. Okay, so for the collective, for the month of August, 2020, what is their next move going to be? Their next move for August 2020. What's their next move going to be? Unexpected income. So some of you could be getting a gift from this person. They could be extending some assistance to you. Um, this could also be, um, when I see that card, it also makes me think like if I have a flat tire, someone come in to change the flat tire. Or if I need something, they come and help me with it. And then we have great fortune. Maybe they, their next move financially is, is this great fortune, or this could be yours. Let me see what else. Courthouse in poverty. Hmm. For some of you, this might be a little off topic. So we got have unexpected income, great fortune. So some of you maybe could have gotten a lot of um, wealth from a marriage or from a relationship. And now maybe somebody's trying to, so let's say when you got into a relationship or a marriage, you had nothing. Maybe you married into wealth or you married into something or you got in a relationship with somebody who had more than you. Now that the relationship is ending or you want out, now they're trying to take you to court to try to take everything or to make sure you don't get spousal support, make sure you get nothing or they're trying to tie up the case in court to make sure that you lose everything. For others of you, it's somebody coming in with a gift or assistance. Now let me see, let me see what else. So for some of you, that's their next move. And then you have despair. I think that they're in despair. Well, both of you could be in despair. Maybe you're in despair because you know what they're doing, but they're in despair because they can't control you anymore. They feel like you owe them something. Let's see. Mature man, family room. So this could have to do with a man. Maybe the man is older than you. And then with family room, this could have to do with a house or something that someone brought into a home. Maybe somebody paid all the bills. I'm getting bitter energy here. Somebody's freaking bitter. They're like, damn, privileged ladies. For I feel like for some of you, It's, it's, a, it's a man that had the money and he made you a privileged lady. Or he feels, he feels like he did. He feels like, oh, I built you from the ground up. I made you. You owe me. And guys, um, this could even be like a person. Yeah, main female. 
So for some of you, this is romantic related, but for others of you, this could be maybe business related. Um, <laughs> no, no, cat. Okay, um, this could be business related. Um, so let, let me give you an example of what I mean. So a lot of people like to call my phone in the middle of the night. They like to be rude and disrespectful. They like to um, demand free readings, threaten me, tell me if I don't give them free readings, they're gonna ruin my life. Yeah. Um, and then those same people email me and be like, if it wasn't for me watching your channel, you wouldn't be where you were, where you are now. I mean, yes, that's true, but I don't owe you free readings for, for the rest of your life and for the rest of my life because you watched my channel. So for some of you, you could be dealing with someone like that in the month of August, 2020. Um, I kind of wanted this to be romantic, you know, related, but this, I think it's going to be a mixture of both. So now let me go to the next set of cards, which is the archetype. What's their next move? Well, I guess I didn't say romantically, so maybe that's why they're picking up other things too. What's going to be their next move, romantic or otherwise? What's going to be their next student so their next move is going to be humility devotion to knowledge openness and lifelong learning so for some of you maybe this person wants to learn about you they want to get to know you maybe you're not their typical type but they're open to understanding you they're open to renewing something maybe a fresh start let me see i like that and then we have king enlightened benevolent leadership benefiting those in your charge yeah this is the same kind of energy this is kind of reminds you of the hierophant or um, a spouse taking charge so yeah i feel like for some of you there's definitely somebody that's um well well off compared to the other party Some of you might be getting a sugar daddy or a sugar mama or you're marrying into wealth or you already did and there's like a divorce headed your way. Let me see what else. And then we have Messiah. Yeah, there, there's a theme here. Serving humanity with humility. I feel like this person is going to maybe at first, you know, be the, oh, I'm, I'll, I'm here. I'm here to rescue you. You know, I'm the, I'm the king or the prince, Prince Charming. I'm here to rescue you. And then they, then they turn the tables. I feel like this, for some of you, this is something that's already happening now. And for others of you, this is something that could be happening upcoming. Do you notice with the first deck, it was that same theme. And now with the second deck, it's the same theme. So the, the scales are not balanced. There's, there's somebody who's got more and somebody who's got less. I feel like maybe in the beginning it'll be fine, but then it's gonna go to something a little darker. Okay. Yeah, there's a blank spot. Okay, rescuer, virgin, and guide. <sighs> there's a theme, okay. Rescuer, okay, light attributes, provide strength, support to others in crisis, act out of love with no expectations of reward. And then you have guide, represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. And then we have virgin, maintaining symbolic purity of heart and spirit. Yeah, I feel like somebody, um, some of you are very naive. The Virgin card is also somebody who's naive or somebody who's not experienced certain things. So you're not very well prepared for how the tables will turn. And then with this blank card, this is saying that it's on the outcome is unwritten. So if you guys are just embarking on this situation, it's saying that there's, there's several ways that this can go. So it could be happily ever after for some. For others of you, it could be disaster. For others of you, it could be the person trying to tie you up in court and strip you of everything unfortunately. So somebody's next move from the two decks, somebody's next move is to sweep in, sweep you off your feet, offer you a lot of wealth, a lot of finances, a lot of assistance. I feel like somebody's trying to come in here to change your life. That's for many of you. 
Now let's do our next move with the Doreen Virtue Romance Angels deck. Let me make sure we can. For August 2020, what's their next move towards the collective? What is the next move? What's the next move for the collective for August 2020? What is the next move? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I hope that's not what I think it is. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And then you have soulmate and keep an open mind. Okay, so religious factor. So for some of you, you have somebody that might try to change you in some way. Maybe they're going to try to change you you know, with your, with your spiritual path, maybe they want to stop you from doing what you're doing, or they want to have you convert to something else. And then you have release your ex. I feel like an ex is coming back or an ex is obsessively thinking about you. So it's time to release your ex. Just don't even answer the phone. Don't answer the door. Don't read the text messages. Just block the person, block and delete. And then you have soulmate. So what's to come is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So if some of you in the month of August 2020 will be meeting your soulmate. Oh, thank you. You fixed it. Thank you. And then you have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. Maybe it's a religious factor. Maybe some of you wouldn't have wouldn't see yourself with, you know, a Catholic or an atheist or I don't know, a Muslim. But keep an open mind because this person may be the best person for you. Maybe this is the person that God picked for you. All right, so now let's do the regular tarot cards. I'm so happy I get to do this. I really love doing these readings. Um, it's my favorite thing to do. So let's see. For the collective, what's their next move? What's their next move? The Page of Swords, to watch you, to follow you, to stalk you. For others of you, if you're dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, they'll be contacting you. And then you got the King of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's vicious and cruel. Somebody's, I feel like somebody's waiting and watching to see what, uh, to see somebody's downfall. Then the Knight of Swords, yeah, somebody's in attack mode. This is attack mode. Their next, somebody's next move is to try to take you down. And then we got the Nine of Swords. Somebody's next move is to try to cause you a health issue, to try to scare you, maybe do harm to you, physical harm to you. Three of Cups in the reverse because you won't be with them. Some of you turn somebody down. Their next move, if you guys have broken up with somebody, left somebody, turn them down. Their next move is to come at you to try to harm you in some way. Yep, the Emperor. Could be a baby daddy, um, an ex-husband, an ex-boyfriend. Two of Wands, they're on their way. Could be an Aries involved as well. The High Priestess and the Four of Swords. Somebody wants you put in jail. Somebody's hoping for your death or jail. You guys, this is a real channel. I gotta give real information. Um, I, you know, I should start doing a disclaimer in the beginning of all my videos. It's a real channel. You may not like what you hear. It may be shocking what you hear, but I got to tell you what their next moves are. Somebody, somebody wants to, I feel like, you know, with, with the King of Swords in the reverse, that could, that could may or may not be an air sign. It could be a man or a woman, but who, when it's in the reverse, this is somebody who's attempting to do something vicious and cruel. This is somebody who likes to hurt others. This is, uh, this is somebody who kicks puppies. This is somebody who makes up lies and gossips just for no reason. This is somebody who would try to break up somebody's marriage, somebody's happy home. This is somebody who would try to sleep with their best friend's wife or their best friend's husband. This is That's the king of swords in the reverse. This is somebody who's just pure evil. They're just garbage. There could be somebody that's going to try to make up lies to get you in trouble, maybe get you put in jail, hoping for your demise. And we got the two of pentacles. Yeah, messages in writing. Could be subpoenaed, could be served. It's on its way. Three of wands, it's coming. Yikes, guys. I did not think it was going to go this way. And then we have 
the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, which could very well be a king. Could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo from the past for some of you. Or they could have this in their chart. Okay, I just got that somebody doesn't have a hold on you guys anymore. Some of you are completely free from somebody from the past. They're realizing it like now, like in the month of August 2020, that they like literally have no more control over you. They don't have any control over you at all. So now they're they're out for blood. Now they're like, you know what? Since I, I don't have control over this person now, I got to try to gain control. Like, how can I do this? How can I F up their life from a distance? Some of you just don't answer the phone for this person. This, you've made it clear that you're never getting back with them. So they want to F you up. The sun, that's, that's my yes card in tarot. You're just fine. The sun and then the knight of cups. You got new love coming in. Possibly with a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Thank you. Yeah, nine of cups. This is your dream come true. Wish fulfillment. Also, for some of you, your health is good. I'm not a medical doctor, but uh, this is what the cards say. If you don't feel good, please seek a physician. Ace of wands. Some of you will have a healthy pregnancy. Some of you think if you have another child, the pregnancy won't be healthy. They're saying it'll be healthy. You just may have some morning sickness. We got the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Death card. Yeah, some of you have gotten icy and uh, you can't be reached. People can't access your energy. You're too icy now. You're, you, you, um, you're putting yourself first. Um, you're not as talkative as before. You're not as friendly as before. You're not as naive as before. Like, people just can't access you anymore. All right, guys, that was your, um, what, uh, what's their next move going to be? reading for the collective for august 2020 if you guys have ordered a ten dollar one question one answer via email only or a same day reading and you've not heard from me within about 45 minutes feel free to email me to let me know so that i can hurry up and answer your questions hurry up and do your readings also um the reading special is going on for a few more hours on jamiezebra23.com um Reading specials are done in seven to 10 days after purchase. If you guys do not want to wait seven to 10 days after purchase for your reading, what you can do is you can always um, order a same day reading, which is done the very same day, or you can order a um, regular reading, which is done in 24 to 72 hours after purchase. I have a um, an original tarot card channel, it's Jamie Zebra 23 chat, if you, or Jamie Zebra 23. If you guys want to go over there, like, share, subscribe, and comment, that would be lovely. The, um, the month of August 2020s are up for all 12 zodiac signs, individual videos, and the week of August 3rd, 2020 should be up by now. Um, JamieZebra23.com, ta-ta for now. Everyone, it's JamieZebra23, sorry to interrupt the reading, but if you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can simply go to the first 30 seconds of this video, and it tells you um, where to make a purchase, JamieZebra23.com. It tells you about the same day reading, so you don't have to wait, same day readings. Also an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Plus I've got tons of products on the website for protection, for cleansing, for energetic healing, all sorts of goods on the website, jamiezebra23.com. You simply go to the first 30 seconds of the video and it will explain all of this stuff. No need to email me to ask me if I do personal readings when you can simply go to the first 30 seconds and also the description box says it too. jamiezebra23.com. Enjoy the rest of your reading. Hi everyone, it's jamiezebra23. So I have a fans only account if you guys want to skip over there and um, check it out. It's uh, pretty much for guys. Um, it's not that raunchy, but it may be a little bit of fun. Jamie Zebra 23, ta-ta for now.